want to just welcome you to the Fashion Law Business Conference 2023. It is pertinent to note that the Fashion Law Institute is committed to a comprehensive approach. It is indeed an all-encompassing one where they establish a state-of-the-art, world-class training center, offering accessible legal services and serving as a rich resource center. Know who you are, know what your calling is and chase that which is unique to you. Look for business mentors outside the immediate environment that you are. Positioning means who do you align yourself with? Who are you seen around? Where do you find yourself going? Choose carefully because it determines the trajectory of where you're going. In Nigeria, we need to really, really um, also down on how we can actually shed lights to the rest of the world, especially for those who are interested in this line of work. The great part of blockchain is that you get to see the authenticity of whatever product you are buying. With the Fashion Law and Business Conference, it has been very insightful, very empowering, very knowledgeable. I was honored to be amongst other um, founders who talked about their business and their growth. And it's, it's very inspiring to see what is coming out of Nigeria today, especially in the fashion technology scene. In regards to having to advise the younger generation coming up, be original, be yourself with whatever you, you're doing, understand the vision of what you want to do, understand where you want to go, and then find a solution that would literally help, even if it's not the entire world, but your community. I don't think fashion schools should be regulated. I, I think that when you're trying to regulate um, an opportunity for people to create or learn or knowledge, you actually just mess it up for creative people. The fashion law and tech team, that's a very impressive and collaborative one for young minds in the fashion space. It, it has brought together SMEs, professionals like lawyers, designers, entrepreneurs, and brought them together to exchange knowledge, ask questions, understand the landscape of their business. And it was interesting that I sat with other lawyers. It's beautiful because the panel allowed us to share knowledge on intellectual property, answer questions from SMEs who need to know what and where and how they should operate, considering that they are creators of IP. You know, we also discussed the impact of um, government participation in the fashion industry and how the fashion industry should also be a private stakeholder driven so that it can attract government participation. This industry is estimated 31 billion, and I know that it is much more than that. If you're a pattern maker, you should learn CAD. If you are um, an illustrator, you should skill up and not just be able to illustrate on paper, you should be able to do it on your phone. I think that, you know, the fashion education space in Nigeria is growing, but we need a lot of government intervention. And I'm thankful for what is going on in this space. And I just hope, you know, that uh, we are able to see the potentials in the fashion industry and then train students, you know, to be able to function um, in the industry today. So the theme of this conference is the future of fashion with technology. We are at a stage where we need to know that technology is not just limited to AI, VR or AR, it's also involved in the processes that we use for our fashion processes. So today has been really exciting and I do hope that a lot of the attendees are taking on good things and are going to be building businesses that are going to last. The fashion industry is not only about the fashion shows or the glitz and glamour, there's also a business and a legal framework behind you know the fashion business basically. So for us to you know have an industry that reaches its full potential, we believe that key conversations around business, law and education is very important and that's why we set up the conference to have that particular you know conversation and I'm you know just very hopeful and at the end of the event I'm seeing that people have gone home with a lot of value. Thank you so much to our sponsors and our exhibitors and also the entire volunteers for the events. We are really appreciative of your effort. See you next year.